Well, once again, hello to all my friends, business associates, and saxophonists around the world. One of the most critical steps in manufacturing saxophone mouthpieces is the plating process. I like to explain the basics of electroplating. Electroplating is primarily used to deposit layers of gold or silver onto a specific item. The process used is called electrodeposition. The part to be plated is a cathode or a raw mouthpiece. In one technique, the metal is made of the anode to be plated on the part. Both components are then immersed in a solution. The solution is called an electrolyte. Electrolyte contains one or more of a dissolved solution, and in this case, 18 karat gold or sterling silver. These dissolved metal salts, known as ions, allow the flow of electricity. A rectifier supplies a direct current to the anode, oxidizing the gold or silver molecule. At the cathode, the dissolved gold or silver in the electrolyte solution are reduced at the interface between the solution and the cathode in such a manner that they plate out onto the cathode. The rate at which the anode is dissolved is equal to the rate at which the cathode is plated. Plating thickness is dependent on how long electrode position is allowed to process. In general, plating is used to decorate objects such as costume jewelry. It is also used to improve wearability and to be hygienically safe. Most mouthpiece manufacturers use the same techniques as costume jewelry manufacturers. Just because a mouthpiece is beautifully polished and plated does not make it safe to put into your mouth. During the process of plating, a substrate is placed on the highly polished product. This substrate could be silver, rhodium, or nickel. Gold plated onto a polished mouthpiece by itself is relatively dull. Therefore, nickel needs to be placed onto the body of the mouthpiece and gives the nice color of gold off of the silver or nickel. Heavy gold electroplate differentiates itself from regular gold electroplating in the sense that it is the amount of time and the amount of mills that are placed onto a saxophone mouthpiece. Putting extra amount of gold on a mouthpiece provides a hygienically safe product. Mouthpieces with a low gold content tend to wear out very easily. A metal mouthpiece has pores, sort of like an orange peel. Those pores have to be properly sealed. Plating is supposed to seal those pores and protect the player. If the mouthpiece is not properly plated, that gold will start to flake off, chip, and eventually dissolve. I have been talking about this since 1993. We do not use flash gold. The use of proprietary 18 karat gold and silver in our plating solutions is a decision that I made early on in my career. And yes, it does contribute to the cost of the mouthpiece. When it comes to mouthpieces, you have to decide, is it really safe for your health over a long period of time, or are you just simply buying because of a cheap price? All my mouthpieces are made here in the USA. I urge you not to purchase any mouthpieces made in China, Taiwan, Korea,